Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network! Since last time, made my way out of the government complex there, and Masa has upgraded his Navi. For boss time against Sharkman version 2. And this time, I don't know for certain, but I think it's faster. The fins and all that, maybe it's just me being paranoid, but anyway, I'm going to use my Trilance chip right at the start since the fins are going to be kind of sitting there for a little while. And if I can get at least two shots in there with that, that would be great. Okay, let's see now. Well, careful. I don't know which one's which. Ah, man, I had a clear shot on that one in the rear. I, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Okay, what, are we, what can we do now? Let's see. Let's go double dino wave. That should be pretty good. Draw the aqua tower out of the way. And if they all line up in place, okay, that doesn't work then. Okay, wow, I'm revealing him quite easily. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use Quake 3. I think I will, but I'll do I'll hit the rear upper right corner of his tiles there once the Aqua Towers fade away. Got it. Good. That way, it doesn't hurt me as much. If it was like one of the front two columns, I would not use that. That would be a bad idea. Okay, let's see. Probably going to go with Fireman. Yeah, we'll go with that. In the event that these guys get all lined up or something. Oh. Okay, well, might as well hit him while he's there. Not much else I can do. We got a fin charging at me anyway. Okay, not that one. I think it's the one in the back there. But, yeah, they're all kind of lined up there. And not a whole lot I can do about that. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit the one in the back in time. But I'll give it a try. Okay. Well. Get him? Okay, almost. Got him! Okay, not terrible. No, it was still pretty terrible. Oh, well. But it, your battle rank doesn't matter against the version 2 Navis anyway. So, okay, so we got the Sharkman chip. Uh, let's see, that hits all, pretty much the same as the other ones. It hit all the enemies. Now, let's see, which one do I want to get rid of? Probably, I was going to say Iceman, but I think the next major boss that we're going to fight is Fire Elemental, if I recall correctly. So, let's actually not get rid of that one. Let's go with Woodman, since I know we're not going to fight Electman there. So, okay, get that in there, because I, I can only put in five Navi chips. So, I got to get rid of something. So, but yeah, Sharkman is a really good chip. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. Let's see, what are we doing now? Oh, okay. Yeah, we talked to that one scientist last time, and yeah, he's went to Dentown, so... Where we gotta go try to find him. So, let's see. Where am I gonna go after I'm done with my business here? I'm gonna go back to ACBC Town. So, let's uh, pick up a ticket as long as I'm here. Let's see, I believe Sha is in the central block, if I recall correctly. Let's go this way, up here. There he is. Hey, Skunkhead, how's it going? Undernet? I don't think that word really exists. That's... What is this, a witch hunt? What is the internet, anyway? I guess it has something to do with Wiley. Ah! Yeah! Because we're better than you, and we kicked your ass? Or... that. Wow! Yeah, what a jerk. What's up? Yeah, we'll just do it by ourselves and hope it doesn't blow up in our face again. Yeah, how do we do that? Hmm. Wasn't there someone that we know that used to work for them? Hmm. Well, before finding them, let's see. I want to find Shot again. Where is he? I know he's around here somewhere. Okay, we can do this the hard way then. 
Of course he's in the last quadrant. Absolutely. Okay, how's how are we looking here? Okay, let's save here. Because, well, Shad has an upgrade now. Why don't you just beat it? For boss time against Proto Man version 2. Okay, now, some people have enlightened me on how Proto Man works here. So, let's, let's see what I can do to get the most damage. Okay, I'm going to go with Electsword, I think. Yeah, that ought to be pretty good. Now, unbeknownst to me, whenever Proto Man is teleporting around, he always does that in the back column. I don't know why, but it never occurred to me to, like, use Quake Chips on the back column like that. So, yeah, those could be really useful against him. But it looks like I'm not going to get the chance to demonstrate it anyway. So, basically, I'm just going to sit here and go with what I got. Do I have... No, no, no chips of the same code. So we'll just leave well enough alone. Really, you don't even have to do much of anything. You can just sit here and hit him with a full charge buster. So, wait for the six teleport. Got him there. Okay, now we can use Quake 3. Uh, the reason why Quake 3 actually works here, as some people were telling me, is that it doesn't raise his shield when he's teleporting around for some reason, because it's coming above or to the side or something. So he can't block that, because it's not attacking him from the front, like just about everything else we would do. Let's see, I'll go with Dino Wave, but I'm probably just going to charge up my Buster and wait for him to walk right in front of me again. So, just wait for it. And got him. Easy enough. Well, thanks for the advice, viewers. What does Proto Man's chip do, anyway? Well, I remember the wise words of Jean-Luc Picard. Sometimes, you can make no mistakes and still lose. And that's not a weakness, that's life. But anyway, let's see, what do we got here? Um, hmm, I could get rid of Iceman. Though I kind of like the elements there. Hmm, Gutsman. Yeah, I'll get rid of Iceman, whatever. This seems like it could be fairly useful, so I'll see what I can do with that. Spice things up a little bit. Okay, we are done here now. Let's see, okay, we got the chip. Now we need to find someone who used to work for the Dr. Wily there. Let's see. Where am I going to go after this, anyway? I'm going to go to Dentown. So, yeah, get that. Well, I'll just tell you who it is. It's Higsby! So, hopefully, he'll be able to tell us something remotely useful. Yeah, how do we do that? I don't even know where it is. See? Uh, again. What are you doing? Oh, okay. But you don't work for them. Wouldn't they have rescinded all your codes or something? Oh, okay. Why do you keep on saying, huh, like that? I don't know. But anyway, okay, now we need to uh, get to Internet Area 5 or Undernet Area 1, whatever you want to call it. It's basically connected to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Muse Antique Shop and get to Internet Area 4 from there. So I'll just meet you there when I get to her access point. Okay, we're back at Internet Area 4. And as long as I'm here, I want to buy something with the money we've been hoarding lately. So let's see what he's got. I want to get the heat armor. Actually, you know what? Let me show you something first. Let's see, what level are we at? We're at 39. So once we buy the heat armor, I believe we'll be at 45. I think it's like six levels per armor type that you get. So let's see. Yeah, there it is. For some reason though, they don't have a lack armor. So yeah, there's only wood, heat, and an aqua. So, but I want to get all of them because they're worth quite a few levels. And we need that to unlock the super bosses of the game. Okay, let's save after that. And now we want to head to the Undernet. I forget if I actually went there in the previous episode when I came here, but well, I'm going to show you how to get there anyway. 
Wow, this place is immensely easier than I remember it. But whatever works. And the only enemies that give me a little trouble are those flappy threes around here. They move around so fast. Just let them drop their weight on the ground and then buster them down. If it comes down to it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Nothing? No, there's one right there. Yeah, they hide it like that, but... Alright, 20 more HP. Awesome. Okay, so, let's see. Where are we? Let's save and see what lies beyond. Oh, well, yeah. It's got a giant W on it. It's probably Dr. Wily. Hey, alright! Let's get in there. What's going on? Nuts. How big could it possibly be? For boss time! Okay, let's see. Quake 3. Yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to hit the hardhead guys, or the one up front first, and then drop the Quake 3 on them. Let's see, yeah. Quake 3, Dino Wave, or Shock Wave. Those chips are really good against the, the guy in the middle there. So, let's just be patient. Wait. Throw it. Get out of the way. And see what I can do. Wow, I'm surprised I got both of them like that so quickly. One Dino Wave ought to finish him off. Wow. That went immensely better than it did in practice. I made that look a lot easier than it actually was. I just got obscenely lucky there, but... Alright, we made it. Oh, okay. What? No, hey, listen. Come on. Well, who's the mysterious email from? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.